Trevor, honey, you need changing. Come here, sweetheart. I know, I know. Okay, it's getting late, so I'm I'm gonna um get back to the hotel and get my stuff packed up. Can we call you a cab? Uh, thank you, but I don't need a cab. I've actually rented a car. Oh, those daily charges can really add up. Oh, unless you did something more long term. Uh, week to week, actually. Uh, smart. Well, if you stay in here, you get to save on a hotel room. Yeah. Well, then you could just stay as long as you want, really, since you're staying here. Or until the government red tape is cleared up and I can leave as planned. Kendall's lucky, though, because she has been through a lot. She needed to be with her boys, and she needs medical attention, so it's nice. It's... Yeah, works out for both of us. Well, I'm going to get going. Stupid, stupid Kara. Making googly eyes at a baby like you've never seen a cute kid before. Jake's child. Dad home? No? Oh, well, get ready for this, because I, I got some really, really big news for you. You sitting down? You are? Good. Hey. Hi. So, no, no, baby. A major life change averted. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna have a little Martin action here. No, no, boy. No little guy. <laughs> here. But it's okay, I think, because, um, maybe it's just not the time. Yeah, our lives are, are, are perfect right now, you know? We have excitement. Yes. We have each other. Yes. Yeah. You don't want a family. No, I do. I do. When we're ready. Yeah, when we're ready. Yeah. Okay. When we're ready. You know, it's funny sometimes how things... should shout out incoming before you start launching things. What are you trying to send me a message? Keep away from your brother? Oh, no. It was just a little misplaced anger over yet another family member. And you're bleeding again. Uh-huh. That's what I get for losing my temper. It's the same hand that I stitched up. You know, I use my finest needlework on you two. This is like putting a foot through Rembrandt. Let me look at it. No, I'll tape it up when I get home. You know what? I need to clean it, though, so it doesn't get infected. I don't care if it blows up the size of a basketball. I consider it a merit badge for behaving like a complete bonehead. Okay, why don't you sit down right there? Okay? Go. I'm gonna look at it. Doctor's orders. JR. So what happened to draw the wrath of Tad? It's complicated. So... Catch those wild card games? Who do you think's gonna go to the Super Bowl this year? There it is, that world famous bedside manner. Nice segue. Hey, I can smell it's none of your business from a mile away. It's not away. like that, okay? It's not a it's it's not a it's none of your business. It's simply <laughs> it's very, very complicated. Seems to be going around a lot these days. My son wants to leave. And, uh, I'm kind of torn up about it because, you know, I, I was, thought I was starting to get a, a handle on the whole fatherhood thing where Damo was concerned, and I realized the truth is I never had a handle on it. 
And now he wants to say goodbye. And uh, it was really a bitch. Just I can't figure out whether I want him to stay because it's best for him or it's best for me. Because it gives me a chance to uh, make up for the mountain of collateral damage that I've caused throughout my life. Or maybe it's just I said goodbye to too many people that I love. And I don't want to have to do it again. Well, I can't disagree with you there. I can't believe I'm bothering you with all this. Come on. I'm a doctor. Next to bartenders with the best listeners around. Not bad. What do I owe you? Um, for the revanaging or for the listening? Both. All right, we're bandaging on the house. But I'm going to have to bill your mental health insurance for the listening. You know what's really confusing? Mm. I know I should dislike you a hell of a lot more than I do. I'm going to take that as a compliment. Look, I know you're Jake's brother. And I was this big, unwanted surprise that suddenly showed up. So I get it if you want me on the next bus out of here. I, I would actually think less of you if you didn't feel that way about me. No, absolutely. Take off. <laughs> What's keeping you? So you're, I just was hoping you'd do it after dinner. Because if you came in looking for, you know, a meal, I'm buying it. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I actually did come here for a distraction. I was uh, going to get like a drink. Do some thinking. You have a really nice alternative. I mean, sans the broken shards of glass part, of course. <laughs> hey. I really hope things work out with your son. Me too. So here's your chance. Take care. I'm sorry things got a little heated earlier, but I'm sorry.